So I purchased a bunch of these. Three of them, three more are going into my uh, Dell Area 51 R5 computer. So I can have a total of, um, well, five external USBs. So those are the openings I'm leaving. And two internals, which I'll be probably putting mice and keyboards and stuff, uh, like my Logitech keyboard and Logitech mouse. Putting that in the back and it'll work on the inside. I purchased five of them. I believe I did a video on this already. On this USB. Uh, works with Windows 10, no issues. There is a driver that a user suggested you use and I used it and it works even better than I expected. Um, no issues, it was a generic driver that it installs, but if you install the driver, I'll leave the link below uh, by the user on uh, Amazon. It works much better with that driver. So let's uh, open it up. Comes with adapter and all, power adapter. Screws. The uh, actual card. And you know what? This is the first time it's come, it's the second time I've made this purchase and it, the first one didn't, I believe, didn't even come with a driver. Alienware. Area 51 R5 computer. There's three slots there that I'm putting them in. I already have one card set up back there. And I'm gonna put three more to have a uh, total of 20 USBs because you can never have enough USBs. And I don't wanna use hubs, I wanna connect directly. So that's why I bought more. And the other two are going into an MSI computer that I use for uh, VR. So I've been using this for a while now on one of my computers and it works well, it works great. This is everything that comes inside, the power connections. You need to put these on or it just doesn't come up. The driver. Uh, some screws, manual. And the actual card itself. This is a look at it. It's a total of seven ports. So what I do with the internal ones, I plug in things that are always going to be plugged in, like a keyboard or mouse, or a USB thumb drive that I read and write to. So that's what I use the internal ones for. A look at the card itself up close. Okay, let me put all the cards in. Plug in the adapter that comes with it. Okay. It gives you more connections. Now this will, okay, one of the nice things about that was they could just clip them all close. They're all in place.
All right, so I was able to not use two of the adapters. There's too many uh, cables. And what I did was, this cable here comes from the uh, mother, from the power supply of the computer. And I only needed actually two of them. So it had three connections. So this one's plugged into the top one. Then the top one is powering the second one. And then the two bottom ones, again, are coming from the uh, power supply directly. And I have one extra just in case I need it for something else. So look at all those USB ports. An additional two, four, six, eight internal ports. And I'm using two of those ports right now for my Logitech mouse and keyboard, or uh, my, my Logitech mouse. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27. Um, I don't know if this 2.0, but we'll count them as USB ports. So 28, 29 USB. And then in the front, 30, 31, 32, 33 USB external ports, 33, and an additional eight internal. So a total of, oh, it's, what did I say, 33, and uh, well, let's count them all. So it's two, four, six, eight internal. It's eight, uh, 41. 41 ports, USB ports. Hopefully that's enough. So it looks like I was able to have some other things plugged in. So that's my wireless Corsair earphones. I have no idea what that little one is, but I know it was plugged in the back. And that's my Microsoft Xbox controller adapter. And the other two are for my mice, for mice and keyboard. So I, said, I still have three internal ones. I ended up having to reduce it by two. Not enough power. The power supply that comes in the R5 Alienware does not have enough power for all five cards and everything connected to it. It kept giving me power issues. So I had to reduce it to two. So I have some things in the back connected. And I've got my Elgato plugged in to one of the USB ports on the card. And everything's working well now. No complaints whatsoever. So all is working well on my Windows 10 machine. I had to retake the two out because of the power. But besides that, they're working just fine. I'm very happy with the purchase. Get the, uh, I think that, um, look below, I believe I have the link for the other driver that the user on Amazon suggested. Thank you, bye.